Okay, let's look at the three kinds of plate boundaries. There are transform fault boundaries where the plates move side to side, side to side. There are divergent plate boundaries where the plates are moving apart. As they move apart, new lithosphere is created. New earth is created and um, ocean basins get bigger. There are uh, this divergent plate boundaries. There's convergent plate boundaries where the plates are coming together and one plate is consumed and recycled back into the asthenosphere. Or this is also where we pop up our biggest mountain chains like the Himalayas and the Appalachian Mountains. So we're going to go through each of the plate boundaries individually. Now. Here is a map. And on this map, the arrows are showing the motion at the boundaries. The red arrows moving apart are the divergent plate boundaries. So here is the mid-ocean ridge. And on the left here to the west is the um, East Pacific rise. And that's where the plates are moving apart, divergent plate boundaries. Convergent plate boundaries, plates are coming together. Close to us, there's a subduction zone here creating the um, volcanoes of the Caribbean. There's subduction here all along the Ring of Fire um, around the Pacific. <clears throat> we have the Nazca Plate subducting under the South American Plate. This is a little Cocos Plate that's subducting under uh, Mexico and Central America. And this little blue sliver up here is the Juan de Fuca plate. And the Juan de Fuca plate is what is subducting to make the Cascadian volcanoes of um, in Canada and Oregon and Wash uh, Washington, Oregon, Washington, Oregon, and a little bit of Northern California for those volcanoes. All right, so let's look at each of the plate boundaries individually. Here is a divergent plate boundary, for sure a cartoon. When the plates uh, move apart, there's an upwelling of magma into the center um, because of decompression melting. Pressure is taken off of that area and it promotes melting. So the plates are moving apart. So right along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, it's a chain of volcanoes. Notice that it's not a straight line. See that zigzag? The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, if you try to like cut a straight line across the sphere, it's kind of broken into segments. And each of those segments then across that plate boundary is a little tiny transform plate where there's side-by-side -side motion. Okay, we'll zoom in on that. Um, another kind of plate boundary where there's moving apart or, or another kind of divergent plate boundary would be a rift zone. So this is, let's look at the globe first. Here's Africa. Here's kind of the Horn of Africa. And uh, the, the Horn of Africa is splitting off of the African uh, plate. So here it is and zoomed in. This is called the East African Rift Valley. This is an area like Kilimanjaro, a big volcano. There's also some of the deepest lakes of the world are in along the East African Rift Valley. This will one day become an ocean basin. Right here we have the Gulf of Amman and um, the Red Sea, and that's what we call a triple junction. So this area is also spreading, and so is this area to the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula. All right, Iceland, unique, sits right along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Here's the trace of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and Iceland sits right over that um, plate boundary, the divergent plate boundary in the middle of the North Atlantic. Here is a zoom in of um, the um, divergent plate boundary on Iceland, in Iceland. So you can go to the divergent plate boundary on my bucket list. I'm a scuba diver. It's to scuba dive along the divergent plate boundary in Iceland. Hope to do that one day. A couple more examples of um, divergent plate boundaries. Over here in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, we have um, more splitting here with the Gulf of Suez and the Gulf of Aqaba is getting bigger and bigger and bigger at the northern end of the Red Sea. Over here in uh, closer to us, is the Baja California and a mid-ocean ridge goes right up the middle of the Gulf of California. So lots of divergent activity around the world. All right, so let's look at some details of that. 
the divergent plate boundary, the plates are moving apart. At this location, the location of the divergent plate boundaries, new land is forming. And it, the rock type at pretty much all those plate boundaries that is being created is a rock type called basalt. Basalt. And um, divergent plate boundaries um, are also places where we find volcanoes and uh, a whole line of earthquakes. So just to review divergent plate boundaries, they are creating basalt. So remember back, the divergent plate boundaries are in the middle of the ocean basin. So ocean oceanic crust is basalt. The, the mantle comes up into that space and it's, it's melting because of the decompression and forming new basalt. An example is over there in the East African Rift Valley.